brushed over the meat. I cook the steak in the oil. That's a very big knife. Some bacon, grated cheese. I've forgotten the English word for it. <laughs> I, uh, more brown. The schmand. I mean, she thick AF. I mean, it's, it's just zucchini. Let's go. Good evening and welcome back to the channel. And you're with Cooking Without Looking, a game challenge where I am going to make a recipe only looking at the picture and having no idea exactly what the steps are. And my wonderful assistant, Carl, is here with me. Hello. And he, is, he actually has the recipe. And he is going to be judging and commenting on whether or not I'm doing a very good job or if I'm doing things correctly as we go along. Let's get started. What is today's recipe? Okay. Would you like it in English or German? <laughs> let's start it in, uh, let's try it in English. Shall okay, we? let's try it in English. Pork steak in a herb coating with a ratatouille. Ratatouille, well we all know what ratatouille is. A bonjour! It's, it it's cut like... up rats mm. put into a stew. It is, right? it's, it's the tui of rats yes. and you can put it in a stew, it's really nice. You have to okay. chew it up and spit it um, and you go tui. So obviously a traditional German dish, given that it's ratatouille, which is French. Um, <laughs> so the ratatouille I'm guessing is going to be here with the aubergine, the zucchini and the paprika, onion and garlic. Um, so presumably they also go into the ratatouille. We already made a ratatouille once before. Really? So. Yeah, How did it go? Uh, well, you know, I've, I've never eaten a ratatouille like in a restaurant or something, so I don't really know how it's supposed to taste. So this is going to be interesting because if I mess it up, uh, I'm just going to really know. Yep. Um, <laughs> and and I won't actually know either. So. I've also got some tomatoes, uh, so I think they also go in the ratatouille as well. You know, the only real thing I know about ratatouille is literally from the film. Um, I've never seen it. And that was a ratatouille with a guy like the, the, the rat. Tatouille? <laughs> the rat that cooked the ratatouille sliced everything in little tiny pieces and then mm -hmm. like lined it up in a, in the tray, which I think is not traditionally how it's made. It's just a big like mix of everything yeah. fried up in a in a pan, which is what we'll be doing. So we're going to chop it up because in the picture, if you can pass me the sure, I'm going to pass it on over. There you go. Yeah. In this picture that we have, see there. You can see here that the zucchini is in rings and the paprika is in pieces. Can't see much of the tomato. There's no tomato sauce though. I would say the insides of the tomato have been taken out and it's just the flesh of the tomato, not the seeds and stuff. It also says there's a Krauter mantle on the pork, but the pork, if you look, is really beautifully done. It's really mm. nice and pink. So I think it doesn't take very long. That's definitely gonna go in the oven. So I'm assuming on the pork, we've got salt and pepper and then there's some fennel here, which needs to be ground up. And there's also some cumin. That, um, that obviously goes on the outside of the pork. Looking at this, it's obviously not very thick though because there's no real, like, can't see, like there's it's not no like a crust. Crunchy crust, no. On the edge of pork. So I'm assuming it's just like rubbed over lightly with probably salt and pepper mixed mm. in there too. There's basically, it looks like a lot of herbs sprinkled over the top. Which is fortunate because you have, have a, a lot, lot of herbs. herbs. We do have a lot of herbs, but there's just like a lot thrown over the top. So I think on the pork, it's gonna be the fennel, the cumin, and maybe a bit of rosemary because there's not a lot, like there's only like one sprig on here. And I'm not really sure how much the recipe is asking for, but I have quite a bit. So maybe that's crushed up and on the pork as well with the salt and pepper. And then the rest is just diced up. That's what I think. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> the pork's not gonna take very long. And I think the veggies, they, they may take it roughly about the same time. How long is not very long? Well, I mean, so I've got this thin piece of pork, which needs to go in the oven. Skinny legend. It is a skinny legend. It's beautiful. In the picture, it's quite pink, mm -hmm. which suggests that it's not like it's not well done cooked and I do not know what the time is for pork to cook things to well done but I think it's about 20 to 25 minutes per 500 grams to get it well done. How much is this? But this is 600 grams but we also don't want it well done. That picture is quite pink. I reckon maybe 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. I don't know how good my oven is. Maybe 15 minutes. Hmm. Yeah, probably at 220 degrees, I would think. Um, I always get the degrees of the, temperature of the oven wrong because I'm used to cooking with a fan-forced oven and I don't have one here. Fan-forced oven, you can make it a bit lower and it's fine. I think 220 for like 10, 15 minutes and that should be fine. Yeah, <laughs> I was already making faces. <laughs> yeah, does it say in the recipe? It says, yes. We can get to that when we, when we get to that. I'm going to have to crush the fennel because it's currently seeds and I need it to be not seeds. 
think I'm just gonna mix everything into my bowl here because it's just easier. Oh, now I can smell it. Mm. You can smell it? Oh, it's, it's mm. wafting through the air, isn't it? It's <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna throw in the cumin, salt and pepper. I'm gonna put the salt directly in the meat and then put the... You're gonna rub your meat down? Yeah, and then there wasn't a crust on the meat. I'm just gonna sort of coat it with whatever it needs. Maybe to... there's a reason there wasn't a crust. Oh, are you doubting yourself now? Um, Did you mess up? I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says spice crust pork. <laughs> but in the picture, like from the name, I would have thought there'd be like a like an edge of fate. Like a crust? Spice? Crustiness? Yeah, um, but there is not one in the picture. With her... Maybe it's crusted differently than you think it is. I'm just saying there are many ways to crust a pig. Are there? No, are there, there are really? two <laughs> that I can think of. Well, there's putting it on the outside of the meat. And there's not putting it on the outside of me. I mean method. That's why I say I think it's just sort of more rubbed in the pork and just let it sit for a bit and then like it's not a thick, heavy crust, it's just like a rub. First thing I'm gonna do is give it salt. It looks like the thing that came out of the body of the person in Alien. Yum. He smiled to himself, looking wistfully on. Aaron had already messed up. I'm just afraid that you're uh without giving too much away, your pork it's going to be very tasty and flavorful, but is your ratatouille? Is it with the wrong herbs on the pork? Maybe. Mm. <laughs> well, I actually, like I said, I don't know what ratatouille is supposed to taste like. I feel like I'm giving you um, too many hints tonight. You know, now that I'm putting this on here as well, I'm thinking probably a good idea would be to um, give that a bit of oil. Mm. Hopefully it's not too wrong. I'm sure it's going to taste good no matter what. Yeah. Well, the pork is going to taste very good. Next thing is to prepare all the vegetables so that they can be cooked. Oh my god. What is that? Aaron, there's something behind you. <laughs> oh my God, How scary would that be if I could see a ghost on this camera? Yeah, so I was at my aunt's house and a picture on the wall of their barn that they sort the potatoes in once they've, once they've been picked and in the like front of the picture was one of the harvesters. In the cockpit of the harvester is this like moving person. It looks like someone was moving out of the picture mm -hmm. as the photo was taken. Now my aunt said that it wasn't necessarily a, rem a remarkable photo in a world itself. Apparently the person in the picture was her husband mm -hmm. who died like a week later, but apparently he wasn't in the harvester when the photo was taken. He was standing behind the photographer telling her what to photograph. Ooh. And they have no idea how the photo, how the camera picked up what is clearly like it's, it's blurry, but it's not so blurry that you can't like, you can't, you can tell who it is. It's mm -hmm. definitely him. Um, but he wasn't in the harvester at any point when the camera was open to get his photo in the harvester, according to creepy. my aunt. You? I've had, um, I don't know if it was a ghost or a witch or something. It, in my head, I had like decided that it was a witch mm -hmm. who was floating directly above me in bed, like maybe two foot away from my face. And it was like there was a wind machine on her. She was just like, everything was flowing. How old are you? Uh, like 22. Right, so you were definitely bad. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it was, I remember being very creeped out and I also had like sleep paralysis, so I couldn't move. Mm -hmm. And I remember like slowly gaining control of my hand and then like in the dream side of it, I was like ripping my face off. To, to pull myself back into consciousness, oh, wow. and it worked. But it was, yeah, quite frightening. Yeah, I bet. I think, how hot should the oven be? Mm -hmm. This is your hint. So I think it's like 200, 220. But your only hint. Is that gonna be too much? Because you've reached a new level now. Um, it's a lot. It, it's a lot? I would say, in my- Wait, is my temperature a lot? Or? Your temperature is a lot. Is it only 180? It's- Or 150? It's 160. 160. Yeah. Is there something else I'm supposed to do to the pork? Well, what's that butter for? I thought the butter would go in the ratatouille. Uh, did you? Does it go in the pork? That seems it's so hard, I want to tell you. <laughs> so they, what, put, it says herb, it is herb crust, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it says, right? So they put, what, rosemary and butter? Is it just kind of? in the pan with the pork? 
like in the cooking tray and it just melts with the pork. It is something like that. Is the pork supposed to be fried? She's onto something. <laughs> really? Oh my god. It's taken us 40 minutes to get there. <laughs> no. I don't know. Why would you fry a pork? Steak. I feel like that was an incomplete sentence. Or is it like the chicken fried and then baked? Yes! Okay. Thank God, Jesus. I thought you were never gonna get it. Right. It's like pulling teeth. <laughs> it gets yeah, crusty difficult. on the outside because you... Because it's baked, because it's fried fry for a little bit. It a little in bit. butter. Yeah. Oof, God, that's fatty. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bake it. And your timing was exactly correct. Just the temperature was... It would have, it would have definitely cooked it thoroughly. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the butter into the pan because the pan is super hot. Um, and give the... What is it? Give the pork a little crusty bit on the outside in butter, and then we'll throw it into the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, I'm still gonna shoot in the rosemary goes in with that. And if it doesn't, it doesn't have. <laughs> Better. With the pork in the oven, we're now gonna start the ratatouille. And so usually, given I have onion and garlic, usually that's where you start. So we're gonna start with that. Looking at the picture, it didn't look like anything in the ratatouille has a lot of browning going on. So I'm gonna... Well, that's a lot. Also, it'd be a good idea to throw the herbs in. Then I'll... I'm gonna still have to add all the paprika. All And the rosemary, from the picture, the rosemary is a sprig on top. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Mmm. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes while it, uh, so it can rest and it can uh, just chill out its own juices. That way all of the juices that have been released from the meat while it's cooking get sucked back up into the meat and they don't all pour out when you cut it open is not what you want, you want the juice to stay in the meat. I love it when you talk dirty to me. You don't want the juice to pour out everywhere. It's not a hot boy, you need the juices to stay inside. Okay, uh, there's a bit of balsamic vinegar that goes in this. I was just zooming in on that and I was like, um, she's forgotten it. <laughs> but I'm not sure how much. So I'm gonna say like it's probably a tablespoon, which is like that <laughs> So it's time to plate and date. Look at that, look at that. Looks that good. Perfect. Looks good. Oh, we are happy with that, Jen. So, look, like I said, it's a little okay. And then it's going to go on top and be all pretty. Expert sprinkling. Mm -hmm. You know it, girl. And there you have it ratatouille with crusted herbed pork. But you have to say ratatouille like a French person. Ratatouille with crusted pork. You filthy English you pig. You disgusting English pig <laughs> How did I go, do you think? So, you did need a wee bit of help with the temperature. Um, and then that... Yeah, because I would have definitely overcooked the pork. If yeah, I it at 220. 20, that would have been very, very overcooked. Yeah, so... A lot, a lot more than it would definitely have needed. Yeah, but then I, I thought about it and I was like, I could probably leave it if you're not going to grill it, like, uh, in the pan, you know? Yeah, yeah, if I hadn't... If you hadn't done that... Got to the... That it needed grilling 220 might have been okay. Yeah. Like, it might have had the same effect on the outside. Other than that, I guess the, the herbs got a little bit mixed up, so the anise, what, is, what was the... The uh, fennel. The fennel seed um, was just meant to go into the ratatouille. Right. Not onto the pork. The pork was literally salt, pepper, and cumin, and that was it. Okay, right, really basic. Yeah, and then everything else was in the Everything else was in the ratatouille. Yeah. Shall we? So, please try. Okay. I'm gonna try a bit of the ratatouille first. Okay. Me too. Okay, bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. I don't like that. You know, you put in a lot of that fennel seed, but I really like it. Yeah, it's not overpowering either. Mm. Like I actually thought it was like it's just gonna taste like nothing but that seed. But it um 
the fennel's not that overpowering. It's not mm. that strong. And I was worried that I poured too much of the balsamic in because when I poured it in, there was like this big mm. woof of, of the aroma of, of uh, vinegar. I thought, oh, it might have been a bit yeah. too much. No, it's not um, But that's also not overpowering either. It's a kind of a nice combination of flavors. I think that's quite nice. Yes. I don't like it. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be like. I have no idea. It seems <laughs> to me like it would be weird if there was like one like, <laughs> strong note of a flavor in a dish like a ratatouille. Mm. Because what would be the point? What would be the point? Yeah. I love how we're like reviewing it, but we don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna. Someone in the comments tell us: Are they? Is it supposed to taste homogenous, <laughs> uh, or should there be like a really strong flavor in ratatouille? Anyway, so I'm gonna try the pork now. I want some too. This is too big a piece. A little bit. Do we get that on film? Where uh, Carl said there was a piece of meat too big for his mouth. <laughs> First time ever. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> We've been friends a long time, and I think that's the first time <coughs> I've ever heard something like that come out of your mouth. It's definitely the first time it's come out of my mouth. Um, but not the first time it went in. Hey, okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, so now, mm. like, when I eat them together, I'm like, the fennel seed on that, and the ratatouille tasting like fennel seed, is like, not the tea. Yeah, there's a lot of fennel. Yeah, but it's nice. I want one, I want some of Actually, this. you know what I think it is? It's a lot of cumin. A little bit pink meat. I think it's a lot of cumin. I think it's the cumin that I can taste. Is it? <clears throat> yeah, because it's not so... It's not very licorice -y. It's cumin-y. Mmm. Try this, Pete. Mmm? Yeah. This was like a little bit pinky piece. But it's nice and... Not oh, chewy. Yeah, actually juicy. It's very nice, right? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like it. What difficulty level would you say that is? How do you feel? Well, I feel like a ratatouille is probably a one. Because mm -hmm. it's basically just chop everything and throw it in the pan. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not a lot of... I would say, like, if you've got the recipe, a ratatouille is not a difficult one. It's, it's basically chop everything, stick it in the pan, let it fry until it's cooked, which was only ten minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice quick dish as well if you're after something that's, like, don't have much time, but I want to have something that's fairly healthy. Yeah. It's no, there's no fat in it, except that I left the butter in from when I cooked the pork, but I don't think that was supposed to be in there. Um, but it asked for oil, so I mean it's... Yeah, there's a little bit of oil, almost some same. herbs, and vegetables. It's a super healthy dish, and really quick to, to cook, like 10 minutes to cook. Yeah, like, it's, just the, it's just the chopping of the veggies. <laughs> Chopping the veggies took a lot of time, and also prepping the, the pork took mm. a while. Um, yeah, I think it was super easy. The pork was a little bit trickier because it had the two steps, but only trickier because I didn't have the recipe. Yes. I think with the recipe, I think it's a, like a level one, maybe a level two, but I think it's fairly straightforward. How do you think you did? I think I did really well. It's really I, tasty. I think I would give you nine rats out of ten tuis. Nine rats out of ten to eat. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's not a bit of high score yet. <laughs> so, uh, really tasty. that was good. I'm happy with that. Perfect. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click the little bell symbol so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video because hopefully it'll be every week. But. We will see about that. It's a high standard to hold it yourself to. It is a high standard. Believe you know? me. <laughs> it is a high standard. Um, if you have a recipe that you think you would like to see me try, please send it to me by email or uh, leave it in the comments on one of my other videos. Give me a picture, list of the ingredients, and I will make it on an upcoming video. Until next time, bye for now.